While the world-famous Tyrannosaurus rex was roaming the Hell Creek Formation of Central North America, its slightly less well-known cousin was presiding over the scrublands and plains of Mongolia. Tarbosaurus, one of the most impressive apex predators of the End Cretaceous period, was a Tyrannosaurid, a close relative of its American ally. In fact, the two dinosaurs are so similar that Tarbosaurus has in fact been considered to actually be a species of Tyrannosaurus itself. While Tyrannosaurus stalked Ceratopsians in the human American woodlands, Tarbosaurus was at home in more arid environments, where it thrived for over 4 million years. In today's video, we will be meeting this giant of the Asian plains, coming face to face with one of the most impressive animals ever to walk the earth. Join us as we travel back in time to meet Tarbosaurus, one of the closest cousins of the mighty Tyrannosaurus rex. Tarbosaurus was a Tyrannosaurid theropod, which lived in the Maastrichtian stage of the late Cretaceous between 72 and 68 million years ago, in the Gobi Desert of Mongolia and parts of northern China. Tarbosaurus went extinct just before the cataclysmic disaster that wiped out the non-avian dinosaurs, and the fossils it left behind are closely studied and well known. One species is currently recognized, Tarbosaurus batar, which was the largest theropod of its paleo environment, likely ruling the roost as an apex predator. Tarbosaurus was a bipedal hunter, striding across the open plains on two long, muscular legs. It measured roughly 10 meters in length and was around 3 meters tall, with an estimated weight of up to 5 metric tons. Despite the fact that it was a giant amongst the animals of ancient Mongolia, it was noticeably smaller than Tyrannosaurus. Yet such a large animal would have been an awe-inspiring sight in life. Like Tyrannosaurus, Tarbosaurus was the owner of two almost comically small arms at the front of its torso, attached to a huge body both wide and deep in stature. The skull of Tarbosaurus is strikingly similar to its American cousins, with a deep upper jaw and a powerful lower one. Unlike Tyrannosaurus, its eyes did not face straight forward, meaning that it did not have binocular vision, and as such did not rely as heavily upon its sense of sight to hunt. Between 58 and 64 teeth, recurved and knife-like, would have been used to help Tarbosaurus deliver fatal blows to its victims, and like its relatives, it would have boasted an immense bite force. Tarbosaurus is unique amongst almost every other Tyrannosaurid in that its jaws created a special locking mechanism to help it secure a meal. A ridge of tough bone on the outside of the lower mandible was articulated against the dentary meaning that the jaw could be held in place when tackling difficult prey items. As such, this meant that Tarbosaurus' jaw was much less flexible than those of other Tyrannosaurids. Modern depictions of Tarbosaurus show an animal packed with muscle, a hulking behemoth of a theropod that would have relied upon force and strength to deal with its prey. In fact, with the exception of the arms, almost all of Tarbosaurus' body was built this way. Metacarpals in the legs helped support the immense weight and size of the animal, and a strong tail helped create a center of gravity over the hip area, meaning that the dinosaur could walk and run without the risk of toppling over. Tarbosaurus' closest relative is in fact Tyrannosaurus, and the two animals would have been remarkably similar upon first impressions. Closely allied to these two genera were the Daspletosaurine Tyrannosaur, American dinosaurs that were represented by the likes of Daspletosaurus and Thanatotheristes. Tarbosaurus is thought to have evolved from an ancestral Tyrannosaur that split off from the Tyrannosaurus line several million years before both animals emerged crossing from North America to Asia, from a now non-existent land bridge that connected the two continents. Once Tarbosaurus's ancestors settled in Asia, it adapted to the drier conditions of the Mongolian plains and deserts, 
and with time, Tarbosaurus was born. Tarbosaurus first came to light when a massive skull, along with partial vertebrae, was unearthed in part of a Soviet and Mongolian joint expedition into the Gobi Desert. The skull was incomplete but distinct, and the deep form and knife-like teeth clearly show the likeness of a massive tyrannosaur. The skull was discovered in Mongolia's Omnagovi province, not too far from the southern border with China, and was briefly on display in Moscow's Museum of Paleontology following its naming and description by Evgeny Maliev, a Soviet paleontologist, in 1955. He initially dubbed the find Tyrannosaurus Batar, with Tyrannosaurus famously translating to Tyrant Lizard, and Batar roughly translating to Hero from Mongolian. Tarbosaurus as a genus was born later that year when Maliev examined three further skulls, obtained from 1948 and 1949. One became Tarbosaurus Efremovi, after Ivan Yefremov, a fellow paleontologist, and the other two were recognized as new species of Gorgosaurus, an American tyrannosaur. It wasn't until 1965 when Anatoly K. Rozdiestensky, another Soviet paleontologist, noted distinct differences in the growth patterns between the Gobi Desert skulls and Tyrannosaurus remains, and proposed that all of Maliev's finds were a member of the same species, Tarbosaurus batar. While Maliev supported these revelations, other paleontologists were not so sure. Some were confident that Tarbosaurus was in fact an Asian species of Tyrannosaurus. Some discussed the idea that it was separate to the two genera entirely, and others agreed that Maliev's skulls represented Tarbosaurus at different stages throughout its life cycle. Today, only a single species is recognized, Tarbosaurus batar. Today, Tarbosaurus is a very well-known dinosaur in terms of fossil content, with more than 30 individual specimens having been recovered from across the Gobi Desert of both Mongolia and China. Combined, the fossil content attributed to this dinosaur covers multiple complete skeletons, with several very well-preserved skulls. Unfortunately, there is a major problem concerning fossil smuggling associated with Tarbosaurus remains. Specimens of this animal have been looted by fossil collectors who intend to either sell them on for millions of dollars in profit, or add them to their private displays. Mongolian law now states that any Tarbosaurus specimen found in the Mongolian reaches of the Gobi Desert rightfully belongs to Mongolia and the fossils must rest in a Mongolian research institute. A high-profile court case involving fossil smuggler Eric Prokopi saw several Tarbosaurus remains, along with those belonging to dozens of other Mongolian dinosaur genera, return to their homeland to be studied and displayed. Poachers have also been known to have destroyed Tarbosaurus remains in the process of smuggling them rendering them damaged beyond repair and as a result tragically lost to science. One such incident where the skeleton was destroyed did however lead to the rediscovery and securing of fossilized Tarbosaurus skin. From the find, scientists can infer that Tarbosaurus had scales that were adjacent to one another and did not overlap. Each one was roughly two millimeters in diameter and the skin in question is thought to have been located around the middle section of the animal's spine. Now lost to science is a reported fossilized impression of a Tarbosaurus throat pouch, which paleontologist Sergei Kurzanov claimed was perhaps a display tool that may have been brightly colored and inflatable, similar to some modern species of bird. Due to the fact that the find is now lost, however, none of these claims None of these claims can be proven or disproven until more fossil content is obtained. Finally, natural fossilized casts of Tarbosaurus footprints have been discovered in Mongolia's Namegd formation. Skin impressions can be seen in some of them, 
as well as claw marks that match the digits of the Tarbosaurus fossil content known to science today. They are roughly 60 centimeters in length at their smallest and are thought to have belonged to a particularly large adult. Much is known about the feeding and hunting habits of tyrannosaurs thanks to their immaculately preserved fossils and extensive research undertaken on them throughout history. Tyrannosaurus is known to have possessed the most powerful bite force in all of the animal kingdom known to science to date, capable of implementing 10,000 crushing pounds of force per square inch, more than capable of smashing through skin, muscle, and bone with ease. Tarbosaurus skulls have undergone the same studies, and the results show that they are close in terms of strength to the tyrant lizard king itself. This animal was capable of crushing its prey with a bite force of 8,000 pounds per square inch. This would mean that Tarbosaurus was able to crush through the skeletons of the animals it hunted, making the most of its catches and eating everything on the carcass. Interestingly, there is also extensive evidence that Tarbosaurus utilized its tiny arms when hunting. Stress fractures have been found in multiple specimens of Tarbosaurus's arm bones, which are typically only found in theropods who utilize their forelimbs in hunting. This provides clear evidence that this was not a scavenger, but an active hunter, a claim that has often been attributed to Tyrannosaurus. Moreover, stress fractures have not been found in Tarbosaurus's hind limb bones, indicating that the animal did not rely too much on speed and running to be able to bring down its prey. As such, it was likely an ambush predator, waiting just out of sight while it observed its prey from a distance. When the moment was right, the dinosaur would appear from the tree line or over the crest of a sand dune to bring down its next meal. Much is known about the acute senses of this dinosaur too. One of Maleev's initial skulls was the first known Tarbosaurus fossil to reveal the cavity which would have held the brain, allowing casts to be made that would reveal information about the animal's cognitive abilities. The results show a brain very similar to that of the well-studied Tyrannosaurus, differing only in the position of several nerves. While the brain of Tarbosaurus was actually small, no more than 184 cubic centimeters in fact, the olfactory bulbs were comparatively very large. This would have meant that Tarbosaurus relied upon a keen sense of smell to track down its prey, which was backed up by a strong auditory nerve that would have provided the theropod with sharp hearing. Other senses that were particularly strong in this dinosaur include balance and coordination, as well as spatial awareness. It would have been able to respond carefully and accurately to the movements of its prey and move its body accordingly, making it a successful hunter. Tarbosaurus remains are known from across the animal's life cycle, allowing scientists to map its growth patterns and size throughout the course of its life. Young individuals are rare, but in 2011, a well-preserved and almost complete fossil of a two-year-old Tarbosaurus was discovered that gave scientists a valuable insight into how the early lives of these dinosaurs were carried out. Young Tarbosaurus were much more lightly built and delicate than their parents, and as such would have relied upon their agile frame to hunt smaller, faster-moving animals transitioning to a life of ambush hunting as they grew older. There is also substantial evidence in the scleral ring bones of the younger Tarbosaurus to suggest that they may have been nocturnal, chasing small mammals and reptiles in the forests and plains when the sun went down. Tarbosaurus was one of the wonders of the Mesozoic world. A huge predator so similar in form to the most iconic dinosaur known to science discovered on the other side of the world to almost all its closest relatives. To discover something like this is nothing short of a spectacle in the paleontological world, 
And surely it indicates that there are far more wonders to be found buried in the ancient Earth than we know about to date. While Tarbosaurus would have been a powerful and intimidating hunter, it was without a doubt an amazing animal in life, one that would have commanded respect and awe as it stalked the ancient plains of Mesozoic Mongolia.